All right, so now that I have my USB host shield and Bluetooth dongle that allow me to connect my PS3 controller, of course, the first thing I want to do is get it to control something that actually moves. So here's an old uh, cheap Exceed RC uh, remote control car. It's brushless and it's powered off an old garbage LiPo I have here. This one sticking up here is from a tiny airsoft battery, but it wouldn't hold its charge, so I'm forced to use the far uh, scarier, power-wise, <laughs> battery on an unproven system, so we'll see how this works. Uh, as for the control system, we have, uh, this is the cable from the ESC, which is the elect uh, the speed controller for the motor. It, it controls the three poles, the three wires that uh, charge and reverse the polarity inside the motor. Uh, it has a something called a BEC, which is a limited power supply, a regulated power supply that's about 6 volts. That power is usually the receiver and the servo, but uh, obviously I'm not using this receiver, I'm using the Arduino as the receiver. So what I have here is I have the ground synchronized with the Arduino, but I have the power supply going directly to the servo. So the power supplies of the Arduino is separate from the speed controller and the steering servo because uh, you know, I don't really trust this to supply enough power to the servo, plus why do so when I have a, an available pow uh, separate power source. Uh, that's about it. That's the U U USB host shield, the Bluetooth dongle, and here's the PS3 controller. Now they're not connected, so when I press the PS button, you'll see that the red light starts blinking and then the dongle starts blinking. And now it appears that I have a connection as the slide is solid. So I'm gonna turn the car on here. It looks like it's ready to go. So first of all, I will try to get show how this works. So if I move, oh, I gotta get, if I move this stick, it's quite precise. It's a little sensitive, but it works. And now, uh, let's see. The problem with using a lipo is it's too fast to control. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess I can steer with a thumb right now. All right, here goes. So it works pretty well, actually. I'm steering with one thumb and holding my phone, so this is difficult. But it works fine. It has a range of probably 20 feet max. Uh, when the dongle is by itself, you get about 30, but I have a feeling that the metal and the inductive load from the motor and speed controller are interfering slightly, although Bluetooth is uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So I don't really want to go much further away than that, because I don't know what's going to happen when, uh, when I get out of range. I have no fail-safe software at this point. Oops. Turn the wrong way. And it looks like the speed controller already overheated with the LiPo. It's not really designed for this much current. Right, there we go. It's working again. Oh, and the LiPo fell off. Wonderful. Alright, so that's about it. Oh, so this stuck in here. Come on, get in there. Ah, uh, well. There it is. Not too interesting, but... Uh, at least it works, so proof of concept right here.